Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Last time we left off we had just started the game and my glitchy power knows no bounds and has been causing me torment. Let's see how well we handle the casino. Casino Night Zone. This one's really fun and I love the theme that they put to it. Sonic Sega in general has a thing with casinos in their games. I know that they don't want kids to gamble and stuff like that, but honestly, doing it here isn't a big hindrance because it teaches them gambling's bad. Especially if you're really bad luck. I am not projecting. <laughs> but, uh, because of ga video games actually having, like, slot machines and stuff in it for me as a kid, I've had no interest in gambling as an adult. Like, I, I was, once I became an adult, my parents said, let's take you to the casino and see how you, how you like it. I had a whole total of $40, I maybe came out with 10 bucks, and I was okay with that. Because I know for a fact, they are designed so the house always wins. And I mean always. At least in a video game, you get a nice reward for it. In Pokemon, you could get more Pokemon that helps with your completion of your Pokedex or getting certain Pokemon that you're interested in. In this game, it's literally just for score and to get some more rings if you run out of rings. And it can always work against you as well. I also have always been very good at math to the point that, uh, just a quick glance at my cards and I know whether I've got a good hand or not and I could just go with that. Makes for a good poker face. But I think I like the pinball aspect of this level more than anything. And just how bright and colorful that background is. Like, look at it! Like, I would love a view like that where I got to see the, the cityscape at night over the stars with the water shining off of it. That would be gorgeous! What can I say? I have an eye for scenery growing up in a small little village surrounded by trees and water and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm a camping kid. I like going out into the bush. Oh, uh, but the, the music, it's just it's so jazzy. I love that hi-hat in the background that you can hear. I didn't expect to hit my head on a conveyor belt, but okay. I want up there. Game, please, I just want to go up. There we go. Whee! And just being flung about by, like, the springs and the, the bumpers and everything. So fun. Still not enough rings. Whee! I don't think I've ever gone this way, actually. Oh, shoot. Please don't squish. Thank you. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. You're not supposed to go up a slope. And again, in my case, that is a common occurrence. Anyways, we want to go down. Whee! Down we go. Alright. Thank you, game. Gonna do it again? Nope. You're gonna bounce me around like a pinball, though. Where are we going? I have the rings now. Are you gonna give me a checkpoint close by? Probably not. Oh, yay! Let's show off a special stage! The introduction of the half pipe. This was really impressive for a 16-bit system because of the pseudo 3D look. And the way they programmed it too is just great. Now everyone just uses 3D. But for the top 92, this was impressive. And you have a certain goal of rings you need to collect. Thankfully, I've mostly memorized the first stage because it's the one you do every time. And it is pretty easy. Uh, this can actually be easier playing as Sonic and Tails with two human players, just because I think your total ring count counts towards it all. 
Physics work well, though. And you can tell when you're nearing the end because the orbs at the top change the half pipe. I think I've got it. Ten rings. I got it. And there's our Chaos Emerald. The color of the half pipe usually tells you the color emerald you'll get. But now I'm not gonna care. If I get one, I get one. If I don't, I don't. Because honestly, I don't like the half pipe. And you lose your rings, by the way! Keep that in mind! Thankfully, we're at the boss, so if I die, I die. Oh, I missed. Anyways. No! I hate it when it disables my jump like that. Now I'm in trouble. Oh, I didn't expect that to happen. Nope. You're not getting me with that claw grabby thing I learned from Dr. Cossack. Him, yay! I love the way his egg carrier looks there too. It's just such a nice touch. Just little graphical nuances, and it just catches the eye. Oh, I love this view. <laughs> there we go. We're through Casino Night. What do we got next? Hilltop, a volcano. We go from a nice, big, bustling city to the mountains. And again, it makes sense. Since Robotnik needs thermal energy. And, yeah, I saw that happening. But this has very heavy inspiration of Starlight Zone, I find. Whee! Alright. I do like how it is a nice, peaceful mountain, and it's kind of a disguise to make it seem like, okay, we went from big industrial stuff, which is totally Robotnik shtick, to the mountains, where we have trees and flowers. And it's like this place is, hasn't been touched by Robotnik at all other than his badniks. Because it's a volcano. And he's using the thermal energy here. The power is death egg. Yeah, that's not. And it's a level really where you kind of just gotta take your time. Just enjoy the ride. Of course. No, I didn't know this was in here. Ah! <laughs> Okay, okay, I get it, game! I get it! <laughs> Actually, getting in vulnerability here is a very good choice because now we have to escape an erupting volcano, which. I didn't know it lowered! I didn't know it lowered! What?! Yeah, no, I'm not going after that. I'm not losing the rings I have when I've already got bad luck as it is. I learned something new, holy crap. And I gotta continue for it. Yes, a foreign concept to modern gaming. It continues. Pretty much, if you game over, and with having no password system, or save system in this game, you had to start from the beginning if you gamed over. At least we continue. You can start from the last uh, level you played. Nope. I will use your body as a platform, thank you. Alright, where am I going? Whee! Uh, Orbanaut? Nope. That barrier, thank you. 
Awesome, we got ourselves a checkpoint. Is this what I think it is? This is what I thought it is. Oh, crap. Thankfully you move slow enough, you can kind of catch yourself, but... I'm gonna try and get to the top if possible. That way you don't get burned alive by magma. Whee! Oh, the spring's in the forest. Why? <laughs> Only my luck, I would hit dead center of those spikes. Alright, down we go. You do want to take your time, because that's lava at the bottom. Just call me the comic relief cartoon character, I guess. Ooh. I got an extra life. And this should be the boss. Which, this boss can be me. One, two, three. I usually try and stick with the... I forgot about that! No! I wanted to land on the grass! But yeah, that can happen. And now, let me guess, no rings, no rings. I gotta play it safe now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Yeah, once you kind of learn the patterns, robotics uh, egg carriers are kind of a joke. But that's Act 2 of Hilltop! Next, Mystic Cave. This is a fan favorite of many Sonic 2 uh, players. I like it for the music, but uh, there is an infamous section of this zone that you do not want to get stuck in. Nothing can save you from it but death. But yeah, the, this song just screams Sonic the Hedgehog, and it it's Robotnik's theme so well. Of course! Oh, wait, this time. In there. That was lucky. I'm not gonna worry about invulnerability. Knowing my luck, it'll just get crushed. Or that! That works too! Nope, I saw ya. I need to hit a switch. Oh, that's handy. I'll take it. Really? Come on. Be nice. Alright. I'll take that. Now where am I going? Not that way. Okay. This way? This way. Okay. Alright. Not bad. Probably near the end of the zone, probably. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, Act 2. Now. This is where I'm gonna ha want to play a little bit more cautiously. Can't get up there. Okay. Now you're probably asking, why aren't I flying? Uh, since I'm playing as Tails. Tails can't fly in this game. Remember how I said that Sonic and Tails were pretty much the same other than some height differences? Yeah. It's because Tails can't fly. Playing as the player. He is literally just a player too. The Luigi, I guess you could say, if you want to use a Nintendo analogy. Or the Proto Man. Then Mega Man 9 is actively better, so... At least Mega Man 9 and 10 comparisons, I guess. Oh, frig. This is the, th the pit I was talking about. <laughs> 
I knew I'd end up falling into it. This is why I said I would play more cautiously. And the game is telling me, no, you're not allowed. We're gonna make you suffer. Try this again. Hold. Momentum! Come on! I had control in the air. Why'd you do that? I'm not tempted to get squished by a box now. Alright. Let's not miss grabbing the vine this time. Take it slow. As much as you feel like you want to go fast, take it slow. There. No! Oh, that was- I have no words. I have no words! I'm gonna kind of just sit here and pout for a bit, okay? Because <laughs> I'm allowed to pout when my own glitchy powers conspire against me. Getting hit by that slowly moving spot, uh, pipe ball. I'm okay with that. Falling into that pit three times in a row, I, I kind of want to cry. Are we at the boss? Please tell me we're near the boss. with what you got. We got a checkpoint? Is it boss time? Yay, it's boss time. Watch your head. That's it. Just watch your head. <laughs> There we go, Mystic Cave is done! My goodness. Bringing us to Oil Ocean! We're already near the end of the game, wow. But, I'm gonna take a break after that, so I'm gonna stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2. This is Autumn Child saying, I'll see you all next time.